girls not remember last week, we learned about Pentecost Sunday when the Holy Spirit was given to the believers. And then that was the beginning of the first church. Now, they were so excited sharing and learning about Jesus. And something very special happened. Then the church, God told the church, I want you to send out the first missionary. And today's story is about that first missionary. All the people who kept the rules saw it was the best. I'm good at being good. He was very proud and very good, but he wasn't very nice. Saul hated anyone who loved Jesus. He traveled around looking for them. He'd catch them and then he'd put them in jail. He wanted everyone to forget all about Jesus because he didn't believe that Jesus was the Messiah, that he was the Savior. And he didn't even believe that Jesus was alive. You see, Saul had never met Jesus. So one day, Jesus met Saul. Now, it just so happened that Saul was on his way to Damascus where he was going to go and round up some more believers and put him in jail. Going to Damascus when all of a sudden, this bright, dazzling light, it was almost like lightning came. It was brighter than the sun. It was almost too bright and, and Saul covered his eyes and fell to the ground. And he heard a loud voice. It was very loud. It gave Saul a headache. He heard the voice, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Lord, Saul answered, who are you? And the voice said, I am Jesus. When you hurt my friends, when you're persecuting these believers, you're hurting me too. Saul, his whole body trembled. He was afraid. He didn't realize he had been doing that. So Jesus told him, Go to the city and wait down. I'm going to tell you what to do. When Saul got up from the ground, he couldn't see. His helpers had to hold his hand and lead him like a little child. And Saul was blind for three whole days. And yet, it was like he could see for the very first time. Meanwhile, there was a man called Ananias, and he loved Jesus. Jesus spoke to him in a dream and told him, Go to Saul, pray for him, and I will make him see again. Well, Ananias knew all about Saul. He would heard all the stories and he knew that he rounded up believers, that he rounded up Christians and that he hurt them and that he put them in jail. And Ananias said, Lord, he's, he's going he's gonna to come. He's going to hurt us. He, what can he, he might do something to me. But Jesus told Ananias, this song is the one that I've chosen to tell the whole world who I am. So Ananias went to go see Saul. And he told him, Brother Saul, it was Jesus you met on the road. That bright light and that loud voice you heard, that was Jesus. And so Ananias prayed for Saul. And then suddenly, Saul could see again. But he saw everything differently. He wasn't mean anymore, and he even changed his name from Saul to Paul, which means small and humble, which is the very opposite of the way he used to be, remember? Really proud. And you know what? Ananias means the Lord is full of grace, and grace, boys and girls, is just another name, another word for gift. And that was what Paul was now going to share with other people. His message was going to be about that gift that God had given us. How Jesus was that gift, that special gift that was going to bring us salvation. And Paul is the one who wrote many of the books of the New Testament. And he told people, you don't have to be good at being good for God to love you. You just have to believe what Jesus has done and follow him. Because it's not about trying, it's about trusting. It's not about rules, it's about grace. God's free gift that cost him the death of his son, Jesus. It cost him everything. 
Paul was such a changed man. And why? Because he met Jesus. Paul also got a new job. And he traveled everywhere. He became the very first missionary that went everywhere telling everyone about Jesus. He traveled by boat to many places. And he got shipwrecked three times. He even ended up in prison. But even in prison, he still shared about Jesus. He wrote lots of letters. And those letters, boys and girls, are the ones that became some of those books in the New Testament. And he kept writing and he said, God loves us and nothing can ever, ever separate us from God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love of God that he showed us in Jesus. Boys and girls, God wants us to be like Paul and tell others about Jesus. And today, when you make your craft, I want you to remember, you can tell others about Jesus too, your friends. Boys and girls, and now I'm gonna ask Sister Marie and come and share a fun craft that we're gonna to do today. Boys okay. and girls, so today we're gonna to be making a boat. And the reason we're making a boat is we're gonna be remembering about how Paul got around from place to place to preach the gospel and to bring the good news to everybody. Paul was also shipwrecked. All right, boys and girls, here's part of your um, packet. Do you have your verse? English and in Spanish. The next thing you have is your two sails. Look here, we got more stuff in your packet. Pool noodle. And then you also have in here a straw and some surprises. Boat already made. Don't forget to decorate it however you guys want. So let's go ahead and make your boat. So the first thing you guys are gonna do is cut out your sails. Okay, very important. See those dotted lines? Make sure you fold on those dotted lines. You see where the two lines that aren't dotted, they go the opposite direction. Just take, cut into those, okay? Just cut into both of them, because that's gonna be where your straw is gonna go. There's one already done, ready to go. Then let's go ahead and do the next one. See that dotted line? Make sure you fold. Fold on those dotted lines. Did I get it folded? Just right there. Okay, then you're gonna make those little tiny cuts right there again. That's again where that straw is gonna go. Okay, so let's put it together. Try to make sure to get the straw as much in the center as you can and kind of just twist it till you can get it to go in. Try not to have it to go all the way through if possible. See how I just kind of twisted it in there and I got it to stay? Okay, so when I make it, see how you take this? Put it right here, weave it back and forth. Right on there. Now we're going to be saying our memorizing verse of this week, which is Matthew 28, 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. Two more times. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. One more time. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19.
our Heavenly Father, we thank you, God. We thank you for the children. We thank you for the opportunity to, to touch the children's lives through our Bible school lesson. We thank you for your gift of grace and for teaching us about our mission here on earth. Help us to be like Paul and tell others the good news of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, bye boys and girls. Bye. bye. God loves a cheerful giver. Seconds nine seven. Yeah.